Lesson one, view three, initial setup and fragments. So first we're gonna run npm init vite-app and then whatever you wanna name your project. This is a really cool installation process that's a lot faster than using Webpack. Once you use it, we'll CD into our project and we'll run npm install and then npm run dev. This will go a lot faster than usual. Specifically, the npm run dev part will go a lot faster. Then we'll have our local host endpoint and we'll open up our Vue 3 app in our browser. That's the setup, there you go, that quick. Next, we're gonna talk about fragments or multiple root nodes. So if we go to our index.html, you can see our element with an ID of app, which we mount our root view component to. So let's go and open up app.view, and then let's go into hello world, which is the child of our app.view. In view two, you would have had to do this. You would have had to add those div tags or some sort of element to act as a root, even though it doesn't functionally or semantically add any value. In view three though, you can fragment multiple root elements. So you can have H1, button, and P all on the same level in acting as the root tags. You don't need to make a random root element for no reason. Why would you not want a root element? Well, it can reduce non-use code, number one. If, you, if it doesn't add any semantical or any functional value, why have it? Um, it can make things easier to reuse and then things like Flexbox which act on the children, having that ghost node there can mess with your CSS. Um, the same thing can happen with some sort of JavaScript function. So just not having a ghost node there to deal with is really, really helpful. So guys, that is lesson one in our Vue 3 crash course. We will continue on in our next lesson, diving deeper into the realm of Vue 3. So